Hello and welcome to the box presented by Ali Baba Pizza. I'm your host, Tally Campbell. On today's show, we'll speak to New Westminster Sandblaze head coach Steve Goodwin as they're perfect in the WLA season so far. We'll also learn why Tyler Richard has called it a career. That and more, this is Inside the Box. And this is episode number three of Into the Box, presented by Ali Bob Pizza. Again, I'm your host, Talent Campbell. Starting off in news first for both leagues in the BC Junior Lacrosse League, a trade occurred on May 29th with the new Westminster Sandblaze traded Graham Hussick in exchange to Burnaby Lakers for uh, Steve Maravich. Maravich in four games, the Lakers has one win and one loss with a 0.793 save percentage, while Graham Hussick in one game with the Bellies has one win with a 0.806 save percentage. And the West Lacrosse Association started goaltender of the Burnaby Lakers, Tyler Richard, who also plays for the National Lacrosse League's Vancouver Stealth, announced last Friday that he's retiring from the game due to too many concussions. And on May 21st, Tyler Richard tweeted the following. Made the difficult decision to retire from lacrosse. Feel very blessed to play with so many great players. Unfortunately, after multiple concussions, I have to make the best decision for my health long term. Thank you to all those who have been part of my career, both as a teammates, coaches, or management, Looking forward to starting a new chapter. None of us yet know what Tyler Richard's new chapter is, but it's coaching, management, we're not too sure yet, but we'll make sure to follow his, his career as it goes on to whatever he chooses to do. Of course, that's Burnaby Lakers starting goaltender Tyler Richard announcing his retirement from lacrosse altogether. Keeping in the WLA now, the Equipment Adonacs have announced their captains for the 2015 season. Bruce Murray continues as captain for the 2015 season, while Travis Cornwall, Matthew Dinsdale, and Ryan Johnson will all don the A's for the 2015 season for the Quitlam Adonacs. And last, Victoria Shamrock's captain, Scott Range, preparing for the TELUS Walk to Cure Diabetes happening on June 14th. Of course, as many may know, uh, Scott Ranger battles with type 1 diabetes, so he knows firsthand. To visit his campaign and support him, you can visit the website www.victoriashamrocks.com. That's all this week in news for the BC Junior Cross League, the Western Cross Association. Hi, can I get a... Alibaba Pizza. Satisfy your cravings. And welcome back to Into the Box, presented by Alibaba Pizza. It's now time to change things over to our game of the week. It's the Quilt Madnax taking on the new Westminster Salmon Bellies. Bowl wearing number 18 for the Adnax. Setting up the offense. Far side, now up top for Tinning. Tinning makes a pass. He's able to find Schmidt, who scores! The first goal of the Adnax season goes... Lewis has been very good. Now here's a shot from Lachlan and he scores! Richard Lachlan's first of the campaign. Matt Wilson, decked from behind by Schuss. Ross picks it up. Here's a chance to play for Crompton in all alone. Crompton shoots, scores! Oh, nice play to Lachlan in front and a nice stop by Lewis. Nice little shake and bake by Richard Lachlan. Almost had his second of the game. Gets his own rebound. Lachlan sharp angle shot, scores! That one's in. Thought about shooting, but he's stripped away by Wilson. Ball does find Gillespie. Gillespie to Ball. Down on McBride. He makes a move and he scores. Great job by McBride. to On the near side. Passing up top. Here's Logan Schuss. One minute left in this man advantage. To Gillespie. Back to Schuss. Schuss takes the shot and he scores. Oh. And feeds it down low. Behind the net. Clark to Lachlan. Behind the cage. Lachlan with a shooting lane, scores! Richard Lachlan's got the hat trick. Logan Schuss, McDonald, three on the shot clock, and a shot from Schuss, and he scores! He's got the hat trick, another bullet shot. Barton, passing to Tinning. Hitting across, and the shot is in. Comes off the... Clark, cross floor to Logan Schuss. Schuss passing down a little to Clark, and he scores! Good ball movement. Schuss cross-seam pass to... Tinning to Johnson, six on five. Johnson shoots it off the post, and it comes all the way back in the Coquitlam zone. It's an empty net for Clark, and Clark, going to make no mistake, puts it into the open cage, and it's his... Clark gets away from a check. 50 seconds to go in this game. Clark looking for the third period hat trick. Passes off to Gillespie, back to Clark. Clark shoots and he scores! He's got the hat trick! 
And a big congratulations to New West Midget Sandbites, who are still undefeated in the 2015 WLA season. And now it's time to pass things over to Aaron Schultz, who's speaking to the Bellies head coach, Steve Goodwin, on his recent win at Frank Green against the Nanaimo Timbermen. Thanks, Tally. I'm here with Steve Goodwin, the head coach of the New Westminster Senior A Salmon Bellies, victorious after a 12-7 win over the Nanaimo Senior A Timbermen here at the Frank Crane Arena. Steve, you're now 3-0 to start the season. How's it feel to start 3-0? and Well, it obviously feels pretty good. I like the way we're playing. As I said, we're a little undisciplined at times during the game, which is something that we have to work on. But as far as uh, running and gunning, that's uh, the style I wanted to play, and the boys are doing a really good job. It was a 4-4 tie after first period. You were even even in shots at 14 apiece. How are you able to come away after the first period and just control the game from the second and third? We, uh, we got some chances on fast break in the second and we took advantage of it. It's a longer gate coming out of the box and we took advantage of the gate and it, I think it worked well for us in the first part of the second. Then I almost started to come back and started to worry me a little bit in the second or in the last part of the second period as they were, uh, they were starting to come on quite a bit. Now, in the past performances, you've had a good defensive showing against the Langley Thunder, a 6-5 win there. Only now in the last two games, you're able to score 10 goals against Coquitlam and 12 goals against Nanaimo. What would you say your team's identity is? Are you a defensive-minded team or an offensive-minded? Uh, if you know me and the play people that know me, I'm defensive-minded. That's the first thing, but I'm also about transition, and transition is a big part of the game. I, we obviously got to, got to score more goals than we let in, so that's a big part of it. But we're, I, want to, I want to start from the goaltender and the defense and then the transition and then get down to the offense. So that's, I think, what we do. showed a lot of that tonight. As we mentioned, you're 3-0 and you're first in the WLA standings right now. This can be a good thing and a bad thing. Are you concerned that your guys will be playing a little bit more lean back now that you're 3-0 or you think this is going to inspire the team to go on for greater things? No, I really hope that's not going to happen. I'm not going to let them sit back because there's still 15 games to go. Anything can happen in those 15 games. We have to come out and be the hardest working team in every game we play. We won't win games unless we're the hardest working team. Thank you, Steve. Congratulations Thank on the win. Thank you very win. much. That was Steve Goodwin, head coach of the New Westminster Senior A Salmon Bellies. Happy after a 12-7 win over the Nanaimo Senior A Timberman. They are 3-0 to start the season and are first in the WLA. Now we're going to send things back to Tally Campbell. Tally? Great. Thank you, Aaron. That's Aaron Schultz, rural reporter, interviewing Steve Goodwin, the head coach of the New Westminster Salmon Bellies. That's all for this edition of Into the Box, presented by Ali Bob Pizza. I'm your host, Tally Campbell. Thanks, rural reporter Aaron Schultz, presenting sponsor Ali Bob Pizza and our parent company, iNet Online. We'll see you guys back here next week right here on Into the Box, presented by Alibaba Pizza.